Good, go. No stopping now as autonomous period of match 47 gets underway here at Girls Gen. Floria Game Pieces making her way to the top row of either Alliance Grid at this point. This is pretty well rehearsed by most of the teams here at this event. And so our final score, waiting for it to settle, 33 to 31. Absolutely anybody's game coming out of auto, but the Red Alliance will take a slight early lead as we now get things underway. That's the Red Alliance machine of the Raider Intelligence Division. No artificial action required as they grab that cone off of the loading station dock and then jump up for a free ride on top of one of the cubes in midfield. That thing ends up working more like a bobsled once you get going on it apparently because they went scooting across that field and they will now hang out right in front of the ref panel it looks like waiting to unjam their robot. We'll go see what the other five machines are up to and they are all clustered over here in the Blue Alliance community zone. There's Neobots with the pink duct tape bumpers dropping off a cube and completing a link. That's a valuable 10 point contribution to that Blue Alliance total. It's followed up rapidly by Ballard's Viking dropping off a cube on the bottom row, two points. And now the final element of this Blue Alliance recipe will be the MI Robotics Machine as they lean forward, absolutely vice gripping that cone to death as they try to drop it off on the middle row. And that's good, top row, rather, middle node. Five points of Alliance score, and it's good. Still waiting to hear back from Raider over here on red. But the other two Alliance members here, Titan and Otter Chaos, picking up most of the slack. Otter Chaos dropping off, well, attempting to drop off a cube on the middle row and making pretty quick work here. Your number eight ranked Titan Robotics Club is dropping off cube, middle node, top row, five points. It's a link completion as well, so another 10-point contribution there, bringing the Alliance score up to 63. They trail by one, and now both alliances are going to focus on the end game here. Somebody's going to need a game piece over there on red if they're looking to significantly create much of a lead here. Otter Chaos is starting to work on it. Looks like they've got some communications back on that robot. Purple cube, ready to go. Two docked and engaged robots here on blue, so that is the ante for red. Two docked and engaged on red, but a last minute game piece from Viking should seal the deal. Keyword should as referees signaling they need a review on this match and we will be right back, left front, somewhere in between. See you soon. Match number 47 results have been certified as well, and that is going to be a Blue Alliance victory. They're able to seal the deal there with that late game scoring 82 to 75 with three rank points to each of those Blue Alliance teams average. That will hold Viking Robotics in the number four rank position there, and now bring them to a win loss of six and three. Neobots move up a bit there into 27th, and MI move up two into the 20th spot. Titan drops out of our top eight into 10th, with another round or two to defend that. Match 48's up next, see you soon.